electricity to start him cleaner. Use your words, movie. Electricity toasts our bread and irons our clothes. And charges our zoons. It brings news and entertainment from the far right. The far right, hard pass. To read and work by. And it makes life more profitable by operating the everyday machines we depend on so much. Ugh, what did I eat? Because we use electricity all the time, we hardly ever stop to think about it. And too often all we know about it is you uh, plug it in and pull a switch. So, What is electricity and how does it work? Betty Brown's in trouble. Her lamp doesn't seem to light. So to speak. How about it, Bobby? Can you help? Move. Well, it would light, Betty, if you put the plug in the wall. Could do without the attitude, Bobby. That's where the electricity comes from, and you must have electricity to make the lamp work. But why, Betty wants to know. Because, um, well, shut up. And that's where Bobby is stumped. Let's ask Dad. He usually knows how to explain things like this. What fresh hell is this? I mean, hello, children. What can I do for you this fine evening? Sure, Dad knows the answer. Bobby, get that little lamp from the workshop, and we'll go into the kitchen. Catch up with Mark Levin tomorrow, I guess. Three hours later... And here in Dad's hand is something that will give us the electricity to light the lamp. It's called an electric cell. That's a pepper grinder. The two knobs you see at the top are called terminals. They are like doors to the cell. One terminal is for the electricity to come out... And kill you. And the other terminal is for the electricity to go back in. For a little nap. But we know that electricity travels along wires. See, the lamp has two wires attached to the base. One's lightning, one's micro USB. When the loose ends of the two wires are fastened to the terminals, electricity flows out through this terminal, along the wires, to the lamp, making it light. Eureka! I've got it! But Betty still wants to know what electricity is. What's in the wires? It's, uh, electric uh, juice. Well, electricity is made up of electrons. Invented by Benjamin Franklin in 1945. That's what's in the wire, Betty. Electrons. Electrons are tiny particles so small that we can't see them. But here's a drawing of the electric cell, the wires, and the lamp. Okay. Whoa, we summoned and a mascot. Shows what electrons would look like if we could see them. Objection, speculation. See, they might look something like this. Always moving about. Even though one of the wires is not connected, the electrons keep moving about, but not going anywhere. You stop that but at when once. When the wire is connected to the terminal, the electrons start flowing in one direction. Niles the cute they one. They flow along the wire to the lamp, where they make the lamp light up, pushes them out again. The cell doesn't make electrons. It burns them. It just <laughs> pushes them out as fast as it can. This movement round is called the flow of electrons. For that's what electricity is, Betty. You, s you still there, kid? The flow of electrons. And when electrons flow and light a bulb or run an electrical appliance, uh -huh. we have what is called a circuit. Should I be taking notes? A closed circuit. Will there be a quiz and will this be on it? This circuit is called a closed circuit because all the wires are connected and there are no loose ends unconnected. Real tight. Only like. where we do have a closed circuit can the electrons flow out of the cell, down the wire, into the rabbit hole, into the bulb, making it light up, and along the wire and back into the cell. Where it is radicalized. Then they are forced out again and keep going around and around in the same path. When the circuit is broken at any point, the flow of electrons stops. What about the hustle? So the light goes out when this wire is loose. It makes no difference where the circuit is broken. It can be here at this terminal. Yeah, we get it, Dad. Or here at this terminal. No, right, we got it. Or any place at all in the entire circuit. Everyone pretends this is fascinating so they don't have to talk about where Mom went. As soon as the circuit is broken, the flow of electrons stops and the light goes out. As soon as the circuit is closed again, the flow of electrons starts and the light goes on. Bra la la how the light goes on. Satisfied, you little monsters? But Bobby has a question. Is it about lights? What about the switch? When he pushes it, the light goes off. That means the circuit is broken. Is, is that a question? When he pushes it again, the light goes on. That means he has closed the circuit. 
But how? He hasn't touched any wires. Look, kids, it's late. The switch breaks the circuit for him, right here inside. A switch is just a simple way of breaking or closing a, a circuit. A switch is just a dream your it heart makes. the trouble of unfastening a wire every time we want the flow of electricity to stop. Boo! And of fastening the wire back every time we want the flow of electricity to start. Yay! Well, that's the first part of the story about electrons. Unless there are any other questions. Yes? No, then? Betty wants to know about the lamp cord. Why is there only one wire instead of two? Betty, you're killing In the me. the circuit Dad just explained, <sighs> there were two wires. One for the electrons to flow out from the cell. Yep. And another for the electrons to flow back into the cell. Yeah, Dad, what gives? Aren't two wires absolutely necessary to light this kind of lamp? They certainly are, Betty. Without two wires, we can't have a closed circuit like this. You busted me. But if you look closely at this small piece of lamp cord Dad is holding... He's got a bomb! You'll see that there are actually two wires inside it. One here... Uh-huh. And one here. No, I don't see it. A lamp cord is just two separate wires with a covering around them. Nice try, Betty. Stay in your Notice lane. Notice that the wires on all the electric cords you use around the house are covered. That's for protection. The electricity used at home is strong enough to give you a dangerous shock unless there is a covering or insulation around the metal wires to prevent them from touching you. Oh, so it's like an Uncle Steve situation? Well, Betty and Bobby have found the answers to some of their questions. And yet, a feeling of discontent consumes them. And now there's just one more thing that's puzzling Bobby. Puberty! Where is the electric cell in our house? Is it hidden in the wall? Yes. Do we have several of them? No. And when the cord is plugged into the socket, does it connect the wires with the cell? Uh, answer unclear. I don't know. Pass! Well, Bobby, not exactly. There is no electric cell in the wall. Lamb gets its electricity from something different, but the idea is the same. Your story keeps changing, Dad. There are just two more wires for us to learn about. The plug connects the lamp cord with the two wires in the wall like this. Zap, burn, die. The wires in the wall lead outside of the house, where they join a main line, which may be underneath city streets or overhead, until they reach a big powerhouse miles away. Dun, 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 bum, 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 ba, da, 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 is a generator, which, like the electric cell, can also provide electricity by pushing electrons out along the wires. Like a neon Sisyphus. But while the electrons that flow from an electric cell can light only a small lamp, a big generator can supply enough power or electricity to light many homes. Or prisons, or slaughterhouses. So the next time you switch on the lamp in your living room, pause for a moment and think. Isn't it wonderful that we can control electricity and start it flowing over a circuit that may be many miles long? Yeah, I mean, yeah. To light a lamp or do any one of a thousand tasks which make life simpler and more convenient for us. And we can do all this with just the click of a switch. All this so you can watch trailer breakdown reaction videos or whatever the hell. I don't get you kids. Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoy fun with shorts, please like and share. And if you want to see all the fun with shorts, check me out at patreon.com slash joshway. For as little as a dollar per video, you can see the monthly exclusive episode as well as other goodies and freebies. Thanks a lot. See you next time.